Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Chanelitons Farm. How y'all doing today folks? Y'all doing all right? Oh, I'm doing this a hunky dory myself. Besides the pretty view of all the women walking around, look at the pretty view of the park now folks. Hello, how you doing? All the trees have been cut down. Of course, there ain't no shade, but they're planning on planting some other trees. And I figured out why they was wanting all the trees cut down. It's because some of them had fungus on them. So they left certain ones that was tested uh, to be good. So, uh, yeah. Mr. Blue and the gang got all of them cut down. Uh, all this side here was good. It, it just it came from this side. I'm thinking it had something to do with one of the factories over here, but I'm not for sure. But folks, anyway, let's get this party started. And as you come over here and look, I got the we kept this truck here. Okay, and I'm expecting a phone call from the mayor too, uh, any moment actually. Uh, he said he'll call sometime after lunch. So. Depend on when he lunches. But anyway, we got the uh, the long trailer there, and we got the Bob truck we kept just in here. Uh, Sixty thousand, I think, hundred thousand. Uh, we got the tractor and baler hooked up. We got the flatbed. We got the wind roller. Uh, we're gonna be cutting wheat and barley. I push. Yeah, wheat, barley, and canola. Well, no, canola's going to be first. Crap, I thought wheat and barley's going to be first. That's going to be in the winter. That'll be about right. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I thinking? The yellow is harvest. So wheat, barley, and canola we can harvest. Along with potatoes. Let's see here. Oh, highlight. Anyway, let's see. That is for uh, the oil seed right here. So we can harvest uh, just potatoes. Sugar beets going to be a little bit. I think we do have some of them. But uh, so wheat, barley, and canola is what we can harvest in a day or two. Let's check out and see what we got here. I did put a... Uh, the grass on so 32 and one and been harvest but uh you know planted number 10 is growing we have to wait for them to grow but i want to check out our types number 17 is uh rye and then you see field two and three is going to be wheat and five and 18 is going to be barley so that's nothing but straw there. That's why I got the baler and wind roller and stuff hooked up. Now number six is going to be test for corn. Uh, we planted it way too early. So I don't think it's going to make. But uh, we got 19 canola. Number seven is sunflowers. Number eight and four is soybeans. And if the mayor calls us and everything goes right, we're going to have field 20. And it's sunflowers. So we're going to have a pretty good crop season coming in. Now, I know, I know, y'all saying, oh, Mr. Blue, where's the combines? Well, hopefully, we're going to wait and see what the mayor is going to say. If we get that feeling out, we may just get one combine. And we may get two. But uh, we ha I had the guys down here, uh, Jason, Colin, uh, Mr. Yankee working on the planter. We got it ready to go. Just got to get it put away. Look, check out our forklift, folks. Check it out. It's a Toyota. A Toyota. I ran one of these when I worked for Walmart. Uh, actually, mine was Nissan instead of Toyota. Uh, and we ha also had a Komatsu. Alright, back this thing up. Whoop, whoop. 
And tilt back. Might want to raise it up a little bit. We're just going to park it right back over here out of the way. And we do have a four wheel drive for this. So that's a little bit better for the farm. Always put your forks down. They don't look down, but I thought I'd lay them down. There we go. They're down now. Don't want nobody tripping over. Um, I'm gonna put the eight R on a uh, uh, probably on the disc, and it seriously needs to be washed. So we're gonna pull it around if we can fit through here. I should went around the other way. Now I still have a bad spot in this map. If I go past the pressure washer here, I start lagging so bad it takes forever to get out. Uh, and I do repairs from here. Nope, I can only sell. Crap. I will. I wish the tanks, I wish whatever was attached to the tractor will get cleaned with the tractor. Well, the tractor ain't that bad to see these tanks. But, uh, I'm fixing to... Um... Well, I need to show y'all. Y'all seen the town and stuff. See, these tanks ain't getting clean. I think it's going to be the ones I had to detach in order for them to clean their cells. Anyway, that's uh, this place I wanted to go. Um, run over here, show y'all how many wood chips we got. Look down at the bottom wood chips. We got 893,359 wood chips to sell. So that's why I'm not worried about stuff too much. Uh, let's go oh, too far. Go over to wood chips there. Let me see how much we got. 488 at Jeep's Mill. Uh, ooh, 601 at the sawmill. Is that our sawmill? Right here? Yeah, that's our sawmill. Wow. We'd sell them right there. I don't know why they're over here. Why can't you sell some? wood chips there well anyway we got lots of logs here one that fell off the trailer I don't know if I'm gonna sell them right yet or not these I probably sell but the front and back trailer will probably go to feed these guys over here um, they got model save I got some wood chips there and, uh, I just took everything off the uh, the thing there trying to get that money and as you can see uh, these are still working pretty good I, I know I ain't supposed to do that I need to bring skid steer up here and do this right they will sell automatically but I, don't, I like getting that money come on up uh, logs are okay but uh, yeah that fort uh, if I got the shop would be perfect to bring up here uh, but anyway, yeah, I guess that's the last vehicle I got. But that's the stuff I got there, folks. Um, mower and stuff. Waiting on that field grow a little bit more so we can spray it again. So let's run over here and get this guy out of the way. Fold him up. I'm just going to back them in here out of the way. But we're going to be getting an auger wagon. And I think we're going to put the track 8R on it. ART. And uh, the other one's going to be on the disc right there. So I got to fast forward this a little bit. Uh, so I will be right back folks. Don't go nowhere.
earned twenty one thousand six hundred ninety eight. Well, a lot. Alright, folks. Uh, I got a great demand, so I had to stop time and uh, take care of this demand. I wish I had more fertilizer than this, but I got quite a bit of fuel, so I'm like. Alright, you know, let, let's do this. Oh, I just missed my road. I'm gonna turn around, go back. I gotta go in town first. Sorry, folks, don't mean. What is this? Oh, a fertilized place? I'm gonna have to start using these uh, utilities a little bit more better. Uh, these factories. Alright, well, I still ain't heard from the mayor yet, but, uh,. I went, did went ahead and purchased two header drivers, and uh, we'll go and check them out here in just a second. Now, I'll fast forward time again. Um, I am going to sell one of my tractors. I know, I know, I don't want to, but got to. All right, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this fuel first. Oh, watch out, people! Maybe we'll lose it. Come on. Mr. Blue coming through. I hope this is where I sell that. Yep. Watch our money go up now. Hey, I got Jason with me. Hi. How you doing, Jason? You're looking kind of stiff today. You okay? Okay. Day in the life of Mr. Blue. Waiting on the fuel to get unloaded. I'm not going to unload all. I'm going to keep about 20,000 in here. And that's going to go towards the farm. Oh, whoa, stop, stop, stop. I just say all that. Whoa, two hundred ninety-eight thousand for fuel. Oh, I got two thousand liters in here. I might well go ahead and sell the rest of that. <laughs> all right, uh, we got. Whoa, oh man, I just ran over a local blonde. Oh well. No offense to anybody. I'm just trying to take out stop sign. The stop signs. There more than the, the woman was. Whoa. All right, we gotta make it down to Mills Sales, and they got a sale going on fertilizer. Wish I had more so I can make up them too. I did not know fuel was gonna be that much, folks. Wow. But anyway, we need to hurry up. We we'll got a uh, tomorrow and the next day before we can harvest. I think. That way now. This way. That must be where we're going right there. I hope. Yeah, it's it's in this neighborhood. Oh, Lakeland Mill Storage. And I want to store it. Oh yeah, much better way. <laughs> well, I am. Um, oh, I see what they're talking about storage. How am I going to make this turn? Now, which one is which? I don't know which one to go to, folks. There's our fertilizer. There's the price for it. As you can see, there's a uh, oh, that's sugar beets. That's a good price for that fertilizer. Oh, is that no bird? I was about to make a boo boo. Yeah, we're gonna sell y'all some of my fertilizer here. All right, here we go. Uh, Thirty, thirty-one thousand and seventy-seven dollars for that. I know where to bring my fertilizer to now. All right, uh, still current days this morning, folks, so, uh, 
Well, I forgot the way out. They got my empty weight anyway. Whoa. But uh, I will see y'all in a few seconds, okay? All right, folks. It's currently the next day. You see my money's going up. And all the harvest income I had. Um, running wood chips out right now. We don't have... Oh, we don't have none left. Okay. So no logs here. And 23,000 left there. I don't think this took a whole lot. It might. 20,000, 20,000, so yeah. Oh, it's 47,000, so. But anyway, while we're waiting on that, it says we can harvest today, but I'll probably fast forward time one more day like I usually do. Um, I do want to go check on something. As you can see right here, red, remove tops. This is... I believe sugar beets. Yeah, white sugar beets, and this is corn. So it's showing the corn is ready to harvest. And so you're ready to harvest is yellow or so. That and field one's ready to harvest, and field 32 is ready to harvest. Um, but like I said, I think I'm going to go one more day. Because usually, first day, it won't let us. But I am going to go ahead and do, you know, I'm, I'm at 6 o'clock in the morning. I didn't hear from the mayor yesterday, so I really don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I hate to rush them. It's about 2,000 left in here, so I'm going to go ahead and dump this. We'll be done with the, the sawmill. Except for those loaded logs there, which probably be... Uh, made for the tables. And then again, we might just sell them straight out and be done with it. We we're fixing to start harvest, so we ain't got time for logging and stuff. So I just might sell them straight out. But I, I do want to at least get the combines this episode. Uh, let's go ahead and look at them real quick. I think I can go ahead and buy two straight out. That's 185,000 each. So five and five is 10, of course. Eight, eight, 16. So it'd be 17. One, two, three. 370,000. I'd like to buy them straight out, but then again, I probably want to lease them. Uh, we can lease them. So I'm gonna get the front twin wheels. We can lease them for eighteen thousand, but then again, it's gonna be a lot of money coming out each hour. So I think we could go better. I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and get them. We're gonna buy two of them. And that should be yeah. That's two. We can almost buy three. Two's enough for now because we still got to get the headers for them. Now let's go ahead and get the headers while we're waiting. Uh, they're in here somewhere. Ah, right here. This is the header that comes with it. It's a 12.2 meter. Uh, 60,000. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And then I'm going to... Uh, doing this because the guy that I got it from uh, let's see we got ah right here I want the 40 foot 45 foot but Don uh, oh if I get to 45 foot it comes with its own wheels I'm pretty sure that combine a handle is 12 two so that's a little bit under yeah, I don't know. Um, it's really hard to say, folks. I think I'm going to go ahead um, get to 45 foot. Uh, I want the color to be black. 
Bye. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, good. We're empty. Um, let's see. I'm just going to take him back over here. We might take him to the farm. Uh, all depends on how fast those uh, trucks fill up. And depend on where we take them. Let's see. Yeah, we are empty. So. Uh, let's go ahead and park them right here for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to save these logs for the uh, tables and stuff over here. Because they're automatic sellers. Especially that. And all, all I have to do is just keep it with wood in there. And just like this in here, it will actually move forward to this spot right here and sell. And I won't have to worry nothing about it. I know this ain't realistic, but hey, trying to get that little extra sense there, because we still got to have an auger wagon. So let's take a look at our combines, folks. What do you think about them? That's right, it's Cat Challenger 680B. Yep, I like them. We'll take a look in the inside just a minute. Uh, here's a 45 foot McDonald. I don't know why they want to put the tongue up that way. I'm gonna let me trip over it. Now, as you can see, this one don't come with wheels, so we have to have it on a header trailer. Man, that's a tight spot. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. A Massey Ferguson. 5613 is fixing to go bye bye, folks. He's just too small. We don't need him. We got that other one. So let's go ahead and sell him. Alright, we sold a little tractor there. Um, that'll help us out getting the auger wagon. Um, let's check inside this. Now, these are. I don't know if he made them I, I think he just added them a lot but it's farm sim steve not stevie uh but farm sim steve uh totally different guy um first let's start her up good no smoke rolling so we know they're new uh we're going to unfold check our lights Backlights come on and out the front. Don't really see them popping on, but they are bright. You can see them right there. Oh, uh, got one beacon on the front, one beacon on the back. Now, both of these are the same thing, they're all the same model. Uh, only thing you can get different is the tires. Uh, let me back up here without hitting anything. I was going to check inside, wouldn't we? Let's turn the lights off. Check inside real quick. We got a buddy seat. Uh, like the heater way over there. I got some light controls and functions, bells and whistles. Ready on that side. A monitor there. And then we got a uh, uh, arm thing right there that's got all the controls and lights. Let's see here. Oh, look here. You turn the lights on there. So we got uh, AI control. We do. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. We bring the thing forward. Let's see. Let's hear hazards. All right. Lights blink on the inside. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder uh, if any lights come on if we uh, we start getting full up there. That, that's pretty neat. I can't wait to see this thing at night time. Our shifter moves. Awesome. All right, let's uh, get hooked up to this header here. It was going to be a tight squeeze. There we go. 
Now this is the header that comes with it. And as you can see, we got plenty of room there. So I just hope at McDonald it's a little bit wider. Just hope it fits on it. Well, I know it fit, but I just hope we can unload. All right. Um, let me squeeze down here. Got to put it about right there. Hang on, folks. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing this. I should turn my phone off, but it'd be all right. Uh, It's not latching, huh? Not on there good either. I can't get it back off. There we go. Woo. That looks a little bit better. That needs to come that way. Two hours later. Hmm. Right, right there. That looks better. Maybe that'll ride right there. I hope it will. And y'all probably like, well, what's the other trailer for? Well, the other trailer's for the corn head. We're gonna have to get two corn heads, so might have to buy another trailer. So then we'll go ahead and hook up to this header. Uh oh. Do we not have a hitch? Oh, there we go. Alright, I was getting worried there for a second. But yeah, farm stem farm sim steve thank you so much for uh let me get these combines and stuff they are awesome i think they're going to do good on a harvest uh which will be next episode folks i am so sorry but um we gotta get these back to the shop and everything uh give them to our field because we gotta go to the field two I believe I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier so I think it's going to be about perfect because it shoots about another foot over I think I'm going to like that alright um I am going to park this um, out of the way somewhere. We're going to park it out of the way. It's right back here. We're going to get us a corn header. And we'll be ready to roll. Actually, I need two. Let's see. I'll put one on the trailer. And then carry the other one with this one. Okay. That'll work before that. Okay, what kind of corn header are we going to get? Um, I want one that folds up for sure. I had trouble out of these here. Uh, 52,000. I think this one way over here is about the same. Actually, cheaper. 
That's a nine meter. Oh, that's a twelve. There was a sixteen somewhere. Yeah, it's twelve point meter. Well, it's really a sixteen row well. Well, I I think we can do that. Uh, corn and sunflowers is what it does. So uh, I want the color to be black. Black just goes with everything, folks. We're gonna buy this. Hey, okay, fifty two thousand. That'd work. But we're gonna need two of them, so. And that worked out just right. And like I said, folks, I, I'm still waiting on that phone call from the mayor. So we can purchase that field 20. Hopefully. Hopefully he calls pretty soon. And uh, we can get busy. Gotta get busy. Gotta get busy. Oh, is that going to be too wide? Let's check our auger before we go. I hate to get all the way out in the field. Oh, yeah, it's going to be plenty good. This, it's shorter than that header over there. We may have to go uh, 40 foot instead of 45. All depends. All right, folks, I'm going to probably have to wrap it up here. Uh, Getting these to the farm shop is going to be a, a nightmare, I'm afraid. All this traffic and stuff. Oh. This eh, looks like it's high. Yeah, it might not be high enough. Oh, seemed it went that time. And I need to twist a little bit more, looks like. Go ahead and let her down. So that's what I like. See, you just see it locked. I wish the grain headers would do that. And another thing, I wish somebody would make straps. Like right here. See, everyone every who made this trailer, I'm sorry if I, I don't remember. Uh, but it's on Mod Hub. It might be on a. Uh, custom modding's a Facebook page but right here they should make a strap that goes up and over so you strap it down and they just don't have it or even like right here through the, the grain head and so a, a strap through there strap it here and strap it there but these things here it's supposed to pop up but anyway if anybody out there <laughs> That's a modder that watches my YouTube. Uh oh, look, I got some low tires. But, uh, watches my YouTube. Can you make a header, Trevor? That's kind of like this one, but with straps or at least a lock lock load on it. I got, uh, oh, I didn't want to unhook. I don't need to, uh, uh, I need to start it. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Um, I'm gonna let the combines lead. Oh oh oh! I, ooh. Well, that one's definitely on there because I don't see it. Try to come on. I got a long thing there. Uh, let me see if they got a, a lock load. Um, well, nope. Oh well. Are these guys gonna be ready to uh, hit the road? I'm going to uh, do that off screen. Just to let y'all know. And this guy here's got a header to get. And shucks, I forgot to bring a tractor down here. Then we gotta get the auger wagon. Uh, but that's it. Uh, two corn heads and two grain heads. 
I'm probably just gonna roll with two 40 foot McDonald's. I like that the header over there, but uh, of course I gotta test a McDonald's 40 foot header. Uh, might not have wheels on it. Don't have. I want something with wheels on it like that. That's you just unhook it, fold the wheel, you know, fold the wheels down, unhook it, and hook back to it to travel and go. Uh, but yeah. I think we're about ready to hit the fields. There's some awesome machines. I might get a picture of that. There we go. I'm going to see if I can do this without missing anything. There, I should do it. One those Alt and PS buttons, print screen. Uh, let's see here. We did. 63,000. I doubt we have enough to get the auger wagon. We can get the big bud. Or uh, we can go and get the Brents. Uh, we got the Bowser. I think we'll probably go with the Brent. The green one, maybe. All these others we done had. Uh, that's a good one, but the tracks don't roll right on it. So, probably we'll go, uh, tank. I wish it had tracks on it. I don't know what the tanks are for. I really don't. 69000 We're a few dollars away from that, so. Uh, then again, you know, we might just go with the Big Bud. What's a hole? Fifty-three thousand. What's this other hole? Fifty-six thousand. And we'll just go with uh, the big bud, probably. That way we can go up here and put crawler tracks on. One hundred twenty-six thousand for it. And that's chop change for us once we get a uh, rolling. But anyway, folks. Um, That's going to be probably it for this episode. Um, I'm still thinking about... Yeah, uh, I don't know. We need to keep our uh, uh, things going. Let's see here. I'm going to hop out for a second and get their hood back on so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, be there. And then, uh, we're going to see if this needs any more. Try to get the back trailer here empty. Okay, so it's full. Oh, well. We're going to leave it there. We're going to keep these two right here full. And the other side still full. So, folks, uh, when it looks, I'm going to fast forward it till tomorrow. And then our next episode will be tomorrow. And we'll start harvesting then. Um, I think the corn is ready. Uh, I got no, I guess right here. Enter. Um, oh. No missions. But if we don't hurry up, I feel it's going to be gone. Come on, Mayor. You need to call us. You need to call us, Mayor. Mayor. Ooh, sorry. As far as our corn, it's 100% ready. It's 100% ready. So we're going to get uh, ration corn. And uh, 
canola still growing, so uh, let's take a look at our map, folks. Well, it shows we're going to be cutting corn on the next episode. Ain't nothing else ready yet. And we got two fields of grass that we need to harvest. Um, pretty much ASAP. Because we need to get that done before winter. But alright folks, till next time, I hope y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I love each and every one of y'all here on Schnetherson's Farms, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Don't forget to subscribe folks and hit that like button. Smash that like button. And I'll see y'all later.